Peace, love, and positive vibration, family. It's Legend Knight, and I'm back on the channel again. Hey, Mom, can I I'm trying please? to create a new intro, so like, bear with me. I'm just gonna straight flow into the videos, into the expressions for now, till I can come up with a new intro that I actually like. You feel me? But anyways. On today's video, we're going to be talking about how to heal the mind. You feel me? Thank you, universe, for this moment right now. Of me able to connect with the tribe, the family, STIFC, you already know. Supreme Team Inspirations Flight Crew. We're all about connecting to our spiritual gifts, serving our purpose, and doing that. In a state of peace, love, and harmony. That unity energy. You feel me? And we are all out there in the world. You know? And a lot of us had similar experiences. Due to the fact that we're all part of the similar generation. Similar type of qualities. You know, we all been through feeling alienated. Feeling ignored. You know, we've all been through all these life situations that have, conditions, that have conditioned us to be identified with the ego and the self. And being victim, you know, being a victim to that. You know, so I love people like me had those mentalities of feeling like victim, of being too nice to people. You know, of being not very narcissistic, but being self-absorbed in themselves like an introvert. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went through that throughout my whole experience in high school. I was, like, mad self-absorbed, introverted. I didn't relate with people. And now, at this point in time, I feel like... Looking back, damn, I should have done more to actually interact with people, you know. But I was just full of anxieties back then. But that's another video, you know. So I had a really damaged mind. That's what I'm getting to, right? That is the problem. A lot of us in society have damaged minds, you know what I'm saying. We have minds where other people have planted seeds and they've grown a whole garden in our fucking mind. And we had no choice in that, you know what I'm saying. They grew a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying. A lot of GMO ass motherfucking shits in our mind fields, in our mind. And we didn't have nothing. I mean, we had something to do with it, but... We didn't have judgment back then, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have good discernment back then because we were just, you know, kids, teenagers growing up. But once you start to get into that state of self-development, of character development, you know, of developing yourself as an individual, right? You're always going to have to heal your mind. And it's never, it's a never-ending process, hence me saying always. Every day you're going to heal your mind. You know what I'm saying? Because that is life. That is the struggle of life. You know what I'm saying? The constant cycle of birth and death. You know what I'm saying? It happens in all realms of reality. You know what I'm saying? And it happens in your mind frequently. You know? As soon as you don't fuck with an idea anymore, that idea dies. That's a death right there. You feel me? So, by us understanding the mind, we can start to heal the mind. And how can we heal the mind? Let me get my notes. We can heal the mind through meditation. Meditation is like the best way I've seen to do it. You know, I saying just experiencing that. You feel me? Meditation, it just gets you more aware. It, you, you're able to create space between your awareness which is you in a sense than your mind so you're not so absorbed into the mind anymore you know and another thing you can use to amplify your meditation is empathy so when you're meditating you know the purpose of meditation is to cultivate clarity but before you get into that clairvoyant space while you're meditating right you want to ponder on empathy 
for like the first two minutes of your sitting. You know, you ponder on some empathy, on feeling open and outwards and stuff being so self-absorbed. Because this is how the mind gets damaged when you're so self-absorbed. You know, so that's why human beings are social creatures. Because your mind, your senses are outwards projected for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Your mind projects your reality outwards for a reason. So when we keep all these things inside and we have expressions inside ourselves that we cannot express and articulate, whether it's due to lack of communication or just traumas and, you know, destructive habits and cycles, we need to know these things so that we can start to change it, right? And I think now I went off track, but what was the main point I had before? So yeah, you want to ponder on empathy. And when you're pondering on empathy, you know, you start to become more, you know, psychic even. And you start to become more outwards and more open to sensing what other people are feeling and thinking. But one thing that I tell myself is, don't care too much about what other people are feeling. It's more about their minds and what's going on in their mind and understanding the thought process so that you can put yourself in that state of being as well and receive those feelings from your vantage point though because what i used to do before that damaged me you know what i'm saying in a sense was i used to like care too much you know what i'm saying overextend my love it made me like needy you know what i'm saying and i didn't know that was out uh, that was i was doing you feel me i was just like unconscious about it you feel me but consciously i knew like i wanted love you know and i didn't feel like my feelings or desires towards expressing my affection to people i didn't feel like it was intense or extreme but I'll always get rejected, I'll always get this energy of like things just not working out. And I realized it came from the perspective that played out in my reality through the mental space I was in with that. Because I was so self-absorbed in myself and I wanted love so bad. I wasn't thinking from a perspective of you already have love. You have love for self, you have love for people around you. I was just thinking like, I want to feel love. And to be fair, it was probably some lustful shit, dog. Back then, I didn't understand what love was. You feel me? All I had was just the lostness of society and all the bullshit you see in movies and all that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that programmed me so much subconsciously. You feel me? And due to my functional narcissism that I had back then. Right now, I'm more empathic, you know what I'm saying? For the last two years, I've just been hella way more empathic than narcissistic. At one point, I had to focus on being a little bit more narcissistic so I wouldn't get taken advantage of. But that's what I mean by healing. You know what I'm saying? The process of healing your mind is about constantly rationalizing your thoughts and seeing the experience of the thought before you act on it so it's about stepping back as well and reflecting retrospection because it's so easy to get lost in the mind but at times you have to get lost in the mind to find the gems to find the wisdom but all it is is about having a healthy mind a mind that it doesn't matter what negativity you experience or is in your mind space your beliefs are going to be so good and so self-loving and self and protective of life. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be so life-supporting in your mind that those negativity are not going to become you. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to experience it and then one, two, three, you feel the emotion, it moves through you and then boom, you get a realization of that experience. You learn from it and bang, your vibration rises. So that is the type of mind we want to cultivate. That is the solution. A mind that is self-regenerative. You know what I'm saying? And through meditation, we could start to clear space to allow that to come in. Because we are all superpowers. I feel like it's how we think. Depending on how we think and how deeply we think about something. That's how quickly we become it. So it's not what you think about. It's how you think about it. Because a lot of times it's all about context. 
everything has a reason everything has a meaning everything has a story that you're trying to express from your inner fires and everything that's going on in your energy you know what i'm saying inside of you and all of that your darkness like you see when i meditate that darkness all that thing that's going on there the emotions the thought the feeling all of it the spirits the frequency the vibrations you know what i'm saying right all those energies those essence how do you let it flow out of you? How do you express that? How do you articulate that? That's how you heal the mind. Because when we keep all these things inside and we start internalizing, that's how the mind starts to get damaged. Because when you internalize stuff, you become so self-absorbed in that internalization that now you have no social dynamics. You have no social awareness. Now you can be easily... Things can be easily planted into your subconscious from your surroundings, from other people without your belief system being there because your beliefs are somewhere else and you being, you know, self-absorbing, internalizing something. You know what I'm saying? And I used to do that a lot. I used to manifest a lot of that because I got my Virgo moon, right? You know what I'm saying? So I used to manifest energy of just like internalizing things so much and then I'll get to a point where I don't even know how to articulate myself anymore or I don't even know how to express myself anymore or I start expressing myself but then in my mind I'm feeling like damn I'm not making sense because I've holding that expression so for in for so long right I've held it in for so long right that it's so scattered in it because I didn't give it any thought I didn't think about that feeling how I want to express it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times it's just about knowing the concept, knowing the meaning beyond what you want to say. AKA that's why you have to rationalize it. You know and say so you have to use your awareness to look at it. Is it good, bad, or indifferent? And in how you're going to experience it. So you have to experience the thought with your imagination first. Because your imagination is your most powerful spiritual gift. So when you experience that thought with your imagination, then you start to think about it and ponder on that imagination, which will be the belief in process, right? And then when you start to think about that vision, that imagination, you start to then rationalize it, you know what I'm saying? That starts to create the feeling in your body and your verse and shit like that you start to look at the pros and cons of it the good and what's the what emotion are you going to receive if you do this and i'm saying you look at the bad well you're gonna you know what I'm saying and then you outweigh the pros and cons do i do this do i do that and then you do the thing that you know is going to give you the positive emotion that's going to heal your mind i'm saying but it's just about having the intensity of awareness to not get so sucked in to internalizing it and then getting in that energy of, oh, I can't go hold it in, then you burst out an emotional reaction. And then that could also come out in forms of compulsion, where you do some shit just like compulsively, and then you start regretting it afterwards. So, in this video, I go so deep esoterically, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of this knowledge just came out from just me being that vessel, you know what I'm saying, for my higher self to channel. Right now, right now I'm not thinking I'm not making sense. Like, right now as I'm explaining, I parts I fall out of sense because I'm in the right brain. You feel me? And then, no, 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 no. I say some more shit. No, 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 no. And then a minute later, I catch it. The whole concept comes full circle in my mind. So it's like I'm experiencing the concept as I'm talking about it instead of knowing the concept first and then communicate and then explaining it. So right now, that's what makes it a channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm channel. I'm creating that channel of energy to bring new information in based on my mind state and the things I've been pondering on earlier in the day. You feel me? So I'm not channeling something outside of me. I say I'm channeling the energy I created for myself earlier in the day. That clairvoyance energy. So right now, as I'm teaching and expressing, as I'm creating this expression. I'm learning from it as well. You know what I'm saying? So that now I know the concept. So if I was ever going to teach someone else now, I'm not going to be experiencing the concept while teaching it. I'm going to have wisdom about the concept. Then I'll explain it. So the communication will be better. You know what I'm saying? So initially, 
when you're experiencing something, you don't know how to understand it yet. But once you experience it, finish, when the experience is complete and it's over, then you understand it. So in a nutshell, to wrap this video up, how you heal your mind is about just being patient, taking time, feeding the mind what the mind needs to start to become structured in its syntax and orders. You know what I'm saying? So you want to start to communicate in a structured order syntax. And what that means is you want to have a systematic approach and how you govern your mind. You feel me? So one thing I do, a practical thing I do and that I learned from IMC Nation, big shout out to Yogi Chris, you know what I'm saying, and Raj D. Bazaar. You know what I'm saying? I learned this from IMC Nation, you know, and one of the routines I do to prep my mind before I start to use it to think critically or to do anything that requires high cognition is a journal to get out all those feelings and, you know, those low moving energy those beta wave get them down on the paper you feel me and then after that you read so as you're reading that is where the real magic starts to happen because you start to see the thoughts on your mind but you're trying to focus your awareness and attention on reading but you're gonna get the distracted thoughts and but that battle is what preps your mind to start to create structure in the chaos to start to create priorities what do we prioritize more how do we function how do we govern mentally and i say and once you have that system in place you're gonna start to see the healing of your mind you're gonna start to see your mind starts to become your friend instead of your enemy because for a lot of people in society their mind is their biggest enemy for me it was the same i was my biggest problem by meaning my mind was my biggest problem i always blind myself put myself in dumbass illusions you know what i'm saying be lost in desires just for pleasures and shit like that i ain't perfect and it's about time i accept that shit you know what i'm saying and right now, I'm focusing just being more absorbed in people. Because for the first 18 years of my life, I was goddamn absorbed in myself. I was feeling myself too damn much. It made me confident. Yeah, you know I say so. I guess there's a perk in that. But it didn't make me any more better at communicating. It didn't make me any more better at manifesting. And these are the things I want to be better at. You feel me? Yes sir, yes sir. I don't want to be better at bragging. I want to be better at communicating, nigga. Yeah, I say real shit. I was too much of a bragger, dog, cause I was feeling myself too much. But anyways, let's get back to center. And that is this whole video, guys. I know it's just like it was a flow. Just take it that way. I covered pretty much everything. You know what I'm saying? This should give you the energy you need to start to actually heal your mind. A book I also recommend is this book right here, The Law of Human Nature. This will get your mind straight. You know what I'm saying? This will get you to that level, man. That's all I can say, bro. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyways, peace, love, and positive vibrating family. It's me, your boy, with your Knight, and I'm signing. <laughs>